My project is The Happiness Habits. It's a program of scientifically grounded actions that grow your well-being and resilience. And I'd just like to share with you a little bit of my story. Um, so seven years ago, I was probably like a lot of people here, highly stressed. Um, in my case, I was working in the media, and the stress turned into secret bouts of depression. I went looking for a solution, I tried antidepressants, but they had intolerable side effects. So I tried therapy, but talking about my long dark night of the soul only left me drowning in that long dark night. It didn't give me the tools to overcome it. So um, I applied my journalistic skills to find an alternative, and I found it in positive psychology, the science of happiness. Here were techniques that had been scientifically proven to not only raise your well-being, but to recover it too. That was seven years ago, and since then I've become one of the first positive psychologists in the UK, and I've written a book on positive psychology for mental health that's been recommended for books on prescription. And what I do is I take the science and I put it into practice to help people feel good, function well, so that they can flourish. And my passion is to get the knowledge off campus and into communities where it can do some real good and make a meaningful difference. So, um, uh, coming up to three years ago, I was a speaker at the Bristol Happiness Lectures. And on that night, I met the founders of the Happy City Initiative. And together, we hatched a plan to take what I was doing on a one-to-one -one basis to scale. Fast forward, and the happiness habits were born. Simple practices such as savoring positive experiences, playing to strengths, and learning optimism. And you've got all of them in your goodie bag. Um, it's evolved over time into a program of eight habits over eight sessions with the space in between to practice so that your well-being grows over the course of the program. And there really is a pressing need for this. Previous centuries brought us epidemics of physical disease, but the 21st century is bringing in an epidemic of mental illness, of depression. However, there is cause for optimism. One thing that neuroscience is showing us is that the brain is plastic. It is possible to develop new neural pathways to learn to be happier. So these habits can benefit you in a variety of ways on a personal level. And just last week, I started an open program, Happy Mondays, um, an evening class in happiness habits, which is now into its second year of operation. They also benefit you at work too, helping you to function well. And it's flourishing individuals who build flourishing organizations. Um, and I'm pleased to announce that I've got some good news, and that is that the Happiness Habits is going into one of the Sunday Times' best small companies to work for, and that's Triodos Bank. Um, and these habits also benefit communities at large. We know that happiness is contagious. It spreads to up to three degrees of separation. So if we teach one person these habits, not only will it improve their well-being, but it will also help to create a positive ripple of increasing well-being. So from flourishing individuals to flourishing communities. There's a strong interest in the happiness habits uh, from abroad. I've been on my travels earlier on this year, and there are people interested in setting up a happy city Lisbon, a happy city Berlin, even a happy city Cardiff. So how can you get involved? Well, you can book the happiness habits for yourself, for your organization, or for your community. Better still, book this course for your organization and sponsor us to run a program um, in a community. Uh, I want to find a good licensing model which makes the training easily available um, while also creating sustainable business. So if you have thoughts on that, please come and chat to me later. And uh, we'd always welcome some funding. The project is run on a lot of goodwill and gazillions of pro bono hours. So please adopt us as your cause. And together we can raise well-being, address the epidemic, and make this and others a happy city. Thank you. <laughs>